hello friends let's continue with the topic of admission of a partner so what is admission of a partner a new person joins you in the partnership and in the admission of a partner we were discussing about calculation of new profit sharing ratio that is the ratio in which all the partners will share the profits all partner means including the new partner so we were discussing about calculation of new profit sharing ratio in that we discussed two topics the one was that the old partners continue to share profits in old ratio and the second was the new ratio of old partners is given so what was happening here that out of the profits out of the profits you first give the profits to new partner we subtract new partners share clear and after that whatever profits are left are distributed among partners that is remaining profits are distributed distributed among whom old partners either in the old ratio if the question is silent or if the question specifies the new ratio of the old partners then in the new ratio right so these were the two cases that we discussed in the last two lectures so you can refer to lecture number 51 52 and 53 for detailed discussion right so in this lecture we will move on to the case 3 we will move on to case 3 now try to understand what the case 3 says now earlier i told you about this pizza right six slices of pizza and these six slices are distributed among the partners now what happen is try to understand it carefully there are two partners a and b two friends i would say there are two friends a and b they decided they ordered this pizza this pizza arrived and they decided to eat three slices each now this is a's plate and this is b's plate right there are three slices here 1 2 3 and there are three slices of pizza here 1 2 3 this pizza arrived and they distributed three slices in their plates this is a's plate and this is b's plate there are three slices in a's plate and there are three slices in b's plate now as soon as they are going to eat pizza they have kept the three slices each in their plate they have distributed the slices so as soon as they are going to eat the pizza what happened c joins their friend c joins them now there are three slices in a's plate and three slices in b's plate now what c says i'll rub this plates now c joins now c is tempted by the pizza in their plates c says i will take one slice from a 
and one slice from B. So that means C takes one slice from A and one slice from B. Now what is C's share in pizza? He takes from A one slice out of the six slices, total six slices and he takes one slice from B out of the total six slices. What is his share? 2 by 6, right? Now if I talk of A's share, how much pizza is left in A's plate? Total there were three slices out of six slices. Now one slice is taken by C. How much is left? Two slices only. Clear? And how much is B's share? B has three slices in his plate and one slice he gives to C. How much slices are left? Two slices out of six slices. So what is the new pizza sharing ratio between them? Two slices are with C, two with A and two with E. So the ratio is two is to two is to one or I can say one is to one is to one. This is the new profit sharing ratio. This is case three. Case three says that the new partner acquires some part of his share from one partner and some part from other partner. C is the new partner. He takes one slice of pizza that is one slice of profit from A and one slice of profit from B. If you join the two slices that becomes the C's share. Right? He takes one slice from A and one for, from B. What is the total slices with C? Two. What is left with the old partners? What is left with A? A has three slices. One he has given to C. How much slices are there in the A's plate now? Only two slices out of the six slices. Same is with B. Three slices, one given to C. What is left? Two slices. What is the slice of pizza? I compared that day in the previous lecture. You can refer to lecture number one, lecture number 51, sorry. In that, I told you that pizza is nothing but the profits of the business. Right? A and B friends are the old partners. C new friend, common friend. He is the new partner. We will offer first to the new partner, new friend. Then whatever is left, we will distribute. That is the basic. In this case, what we, they are doing is they are giving each slice out of their plates. One slice by A, one slice by B. Join them. That becomes C's share. Clear? Now, see, let's see a practical problem on this. Let's do one practical problem. You must note down this practical problem. There are two friends, A and B. Friends means all partners. Their profit sharing ratio is 5 is to 3. New partner. is C. So C is the new partner. He is admitted for one fifth share. Now the question for this is this one fifth share he takes one ten from A and one ten from B. That is his total share is one fifth. If we divide one fifth into two he is taking one tenth from A and one tenth from B. B. Clear? These are this is from A's plate and this is from B's plate. Now, what is the C's share? If we talk of C's share, what he has taken from A's plate? 1 by 10. Out of 10 slices, he has taken 1 slice. Okay? What is what he has taken from B's plate? Again 1 by 10. What is his total share? 2 slices out of 10 slices. Clear? Now, next 
what is left with the old partners who is the old partner what is a's share what was the a's earlier share 5 is to 3 that means he was getting 5 slices 5 by 8 minus 1 by 10 right this comes to 40 this comes to 21 by 40 so this is the a share whatever a has given to the c we will subtract from his original old share right this is 1/10 he has taken from the a plate we will subtract what was already there in the a plate already there was 5 by 8 profits subtract what is given 110 clear now we will calculate b share what is b share what was there in the original plate of b 3 by 8 what is given 1 by 10 so this comes to 11 by 40 see for talk of the new profit sharing ratio that is the ratio in which all the three partners will share the future profits this comes to 2 by 10 ratio 21 by 40 ratio 11 by 40 i will make the denominator common sorry this is c share okay so we will write it as ab right we'll write the ratio in the sequence that is a is to b is to c what is a share 21 by 40 what is b share 11 by 40 c share 2 by 10 if i multiply it by 4 that becomes 8 by 40 so what is the new ratio 21 is to 11 is to 8 clear friends this is a very very simple case that the new partner acquires some share from a some from b join them that becomes the new partner's share and subtract what is given by the old partners that becomes the old partner's shares remember this pizza example that c takes one slice from a plate one slice from b plate okay so what is c share 1 plus 1 2 what is a share what is left in the a plate 3 minus 1 2 what is left in the b plate again 3 minus 1 2 this is very very simple right so you must remember this pizza example throughout your this admission of a partner if you have understood this pizza example i have explained this example in detail in lecture number 51 that was the first lecture on admission of a partner so friends refer to lecture number 51 52 53 before doing this case 3 okay so this is a practical example where the c 1/5th share out of this 1/5th share he is taking 1/10 from a and 1/10 from b join both the shares that becomes the c's share right then what is left with this becomes c shares what is a share and b share will subtract what is given to them right that becomes the old partner's share clear so the a share is 21 by 40 b share is 11 by 40 c share is 2 by 10 a new profit sharing ratio comes to 21 by 40 is 11 by 40 to 8 by 40 this is the new profit sharing ratio all the future profits will be distributed among the new partners in this ratio clear so this is the case 3 where the new or the incoming partner acquires share from 
existing partners in a particular ratio he takes some part from one partner some from other partner join them that becomes the new partners share clear so this is case 3 in the next lecture in the next lecture we will discuss case 4 of it what is new profit sharing ratio this was case 3 in the lecture number 52 we discussed about case 1 in lecture number 53 we discussed about case 2 in the today's lecture we discussed about case 3 in the next lecture we will be discussing about case four of the calculation of new profit sharing ratio which is the first step to admission of a partner right because remember that pizza example in lecture number 51 when the new friend joins you the first thing that comes to your mind is how to distribute this pizza now calculate the new ratio in which this pizza will be distributed in three friends now earlier you were two friends a new friend joined you the first question in your mind was how to distribute this pizza now so when the new partner joins your partnership firm the first question that comes to your mind is how to distribute the profits of the business because the new partner has joined your business for sharing the profits in the very basic definition of partnership if you remember the very basic definition of partnership it says it is an association between the persons to carry on business and for sharing profits you can refer to lecture number 1 sorry lecture number 2 in that i discuss this uh, definition of partnership which reads it is an association between the persons for carrying out the business and for sharing the profits of the business so the first question here on the new partner joining the firm is how to distribute the profits in future for that we are calculating the new profit sharing ratio under the various cases right so you just have to be careful in the examination if a question is asked on the calculation of the new profit sharing ratio first of all you must remember all the cases you must be able to correlate that this question belongs to which category which case then that will become very easy just put that question into pizza example i tell you this will that will simplify your question you will be able to understand that this question lies in which case clear yeah. thank you friends